Hello, and welcome to the John Soltrager Show, presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Greg Royce, joined with Stevenson Swimming Head Coach John Soltrager. And Coach, you're uh, getting towards the end of the um, dual meet season. Um, you had your final home dual meet on Saturday. Um, you swam against Golly Dat. Talk a little bit about, uh, about how that went for you guys. Uh, Golly Dat actually was a really good meet for us. We, um, we had four kids who had not qualified for our conference meet just yet. And so we rested them for a couple of days, um, put a suit on them, and we actually had uh, three of our four kids qualify. So now we, we're just waiting on one more to qualify, hopefully this week coming up. So it was a really successful meet, I thought. Yeah, it's exciting to know just that everybody on the team's qualified. We competed a couple of weeks at the MAC championship. Um, take us through a couple of people that you know have swam particularly well for you. You know, it's been a few weeks since we talked, so kind of take us through kind of the second half of the season who's been swimming well. Um, I guess Jules Burnett on the girls' side has swam really well for us. Um, you know, her time at 109 in the 100 breaststroke is, is right now currently second in the conference. Yeah. Um, she wasn't even close to that last year. You know, in season she was more like a 111, uh, 112. So I, I think she's setting herself up um, to do some some good things at our conference meet. Um, Colby, I think Colby has swam well early on. She's um, right now she's hit a speed bump because again we've been training. Pretty much uh, twice a day, every day for mm -hmm. the last month, mm -hmm. um, working really, really hard. But you know, early on in the season, her times were really good. And again, she's one of the ones that's probably in the top five, top seven within the conference. And you know, on the guy side, Zach, um, he's swimming pretty well. And again, his times are faster now than they were this time last year, which is you know really what you're looking for. Yeah, talk about Zach. Obviously, his last home meet was past Saturday. Um, you know, senior for you, your lone senior. Talk about what he's meant to the program. Zach's been great. Um, you know, and again, I, I mentioned this before. After his freshman year, he wasn't even sure if he was going to swim again. And, you know, he came out his sophomore year, and, you know, I, I thought he really started to grow personally. Um, he, you know, really spread his wings and, and embraced, you know, the team aspect, especially with the guys on the team. And, and it swam well, and he's improved every single year. Last year he was uh, two one-hundredths away from getting first-team all-conference, um, so that's that's the goal for this year is for him is to try to get an all conference. He would like, you know, he wants to be top two in the in the two fly this year. So I mean, he's got some goals. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we'll talk a little bit more about the conference meet next week. Obviously, it's your final dual meet of the season coming up this Saturday against Arcadia, who swam pretty well and probably a good test to kind of see where you stack up going into the conference meet. Yeah, Arcadia swam very well this year. They um, they're one of the top teams in the conference, both men and women. So you know, again. One of our goals and one of our mantras is to learn how to swim faster when you're tired, and, and my kids are tired. They're yeah. really tired. Um, but, again, I always tell them that you can swim fast when you're tired, and, you know, Izzy is, is a perfect example of that. She's actually done two lifetime bests in the last two meets um, in the 100 free, you know, dog tired. So, you know, I, I think the one big thing I think from last week's meet, more than anything, was um, we only had a couple kids rest for a couple days, and they swam really well. Um, which gets the kids excited for a two and a half week rest, yeah. you know, for the conference meet. So, again, I, I think this meet will be, you know, a good meet for the kids. But uh, I think we're all about ready to taper. Yeah, I'm sure about they're about ready for rest and to uh, get ready for conference championship. Yep, th that's for sure. All right, coach. Well, best of luck this weekend, and best of luck as you continue to prepare for uh, the MAC championship. All right, thank you very much. For John Soltrager, I'm Greg Royce. This has been the John Soltrager Show.